What a, what a world does your homeboy wordplay, TJ? Um, I, I don't normally do these types of impromptu videos, but I want to talk about the show.co uh, ad, ad builder platform that I talked about a few weeks ago. So I was thinking I was going to give uh, my campaign another shot. I just assumed that I used the wrong song. The campaign was a little weird and um, people didn't respond to it as much as best as I thought they should. So I decided to do it a little bit differently. But here's the issue. Here's the, the, the problem with this. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll show you. So I was gonna do another ad campaign. This time around, I was gonna do it for iHeartRadio. As you can see right here, there has been a change to the platform. My original ad campaign was, a for, was for about 30 days. And I ran that ad campaign for $50 over those 30 days. Now, that's just a little over a dollar a day, so it's not a lot of impressions, but what I what I thought was that I was going to get that same luxury this time around because I just don't want to spend a lot of money uh, testing ads that may or may not work. So this time around, I have put in the same budget, but it looks like the maximum amount of days that you can get for $50 is three days. So if I change this here, let's see. If I change this to April 4th, right? So that may turn out to be about 568 impressions a day. And if I change this to say, um, let's change it to 500. I'm not spending that much, but let's change that. This only jumps up to 5,682. So basically this platform, this, this thing that I wanted to use is way more expensive than I previously was able to use it for. I was gonna continue and test and do like an iHeartRadio campaign and try that, but at this point, I really wanna run a long-term campaign, but I'm not willing to spend $500 on this platform yet. So with all that said, I just thought this was a little bit odd um, seeing that my first campaign was not as great as I, I wanted it to be, but at the same time, it was still like, it got a few listens and so I was okay with testing it out trying it again seeing if my ad was wrong and and testing it but at this rate it's not even worth the test it's like three days come on man like I can try it out for three days but fifty dollars over three days that's a lot of money that I'm pouring into it on a daily basis it, it that's just the way it is and so my budget it is not in a place where I'm willing to just like play with that type of money. Like it's just, it's just not. If I was drawing that type of revenue from, from a song and I really believed in it and I had like 10 grand to spare, I would go ahead and do it. But um, at this point, at this rate, it, it really doesn't seem like this is a viable option for independent artists. And so it may not be a viable option for you. So let me know in the comment section what you're, you're interested in as far as show.co. Um, if you think this was kind of a crazy rate hike that, that they saw after people got onto the platform and then they were using it and they were using it for 30 days and tried it for 50 bucks, like I might as well go ahead and use some Facebook ads. Just let me know what you think down in the comments. I, I think it's kind of crazy myself, but um, yeah, let me know how you feel. Until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so I know you came to watch this channel just to see this video, just to get this problem solved. What I do urge you to do is subscribe to this channel right over there. And then there's more videos on this page right now.